three, two, one. What's up guys, Jared here with another Jurassic sized movie review. So some of you guys may not know this, but Jurassic World made a Jurassic amount of money a couple years ago, so that means that obviously the studio is going to make a sequel, if not 17. And the first one is in theaters right now, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So is this sequel dino-tastic? Let's find out. So Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom takes place roughly three years after the events of Jurassic World. Claire has been working to help protect the last of the dinosaurs trapped on the island and is then approached by Hammond's old partner to help coordinate a rescue mission to save at least 11 species. However, she needs Owen's help to track down Blue. They head back to Isla Nublar only to realize that the whole operation is a setup and the real agenda is to capture these creatures, bring them back, and sell them to the highest bidder. Claire, Owen, and a few others must go and stop this dino auction, but but like all dino movies, all hell breaks loose. So straight up, I didn't have any interest in this Jurassic World follow-up. I mean, I went in with kind of no expectations, low expectations. The trailers didn't really wow me, but I gave it a chance. And I will say that the opening and a few other set pieces are action-packed. There's the classic big-ass dino fights. There's characters having to escape from these dinosaurs in the nick of time. For example, the volcano scene that's shown in a lot of the trailers is tense, action-packed, it's exciting, it's visually appealing. So this sequel does have a decent amount of action in it. Stacked up with the action was the cinematography and a few of the shots in the movie. This is a beautiful film, seeing the volcano explode or some dino howling at the full moon. The movie looks pretty good. Like just showing dinosaurs in the shadows or a claw reaching through something is really cool. Mind you, it's not the best of 2018, but it's easy on the eyes. Another small thing was almost this like horror, haunted house, monster after you vibe throughout a decent amount of the movie. It felt like a fresh change up from the usual dinos escape and wreck everything. It was marginally scary at times and I commend the movie for doing that. Man, however, this movie's pacing is just not great at all. The first five minutes are awesome, then it kind of takes a dive towards the first act once we get to the island it's cool all of these dinosaurs volcanoes exploding then the second act is slow boring you're just you're kind of taken out of the movie and then the third act tries to redeem the movie but the last like five to ten minutes you're just completely lost if anything it was like your first handy exciting and enthralling followed by pain and just wondering when this thing is going to end followed by an unsatisfying mess ow 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 yeah. 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 And I think the reason I felt that way was because of all of these weird subplots that seemingly come out of nowhere in the movie and you're like, wait, this movie is actually about that and this whole dinosaur thing is a big distraction? Cool, we're saving these dinosaurs and then we're getting backstabbed. I get it. But when the movie introduces this little girl and family element, this dino activist, this almost dinosaur slave trade, the movie loses its identity and you're just wondering, what the heck is going on? What, what the... What... What is the damn through line anymore? Some of the newly introduced characters were part of the problem as well. I'm sorry, but Franklin, buddy, the second you were introduced, I was hoping you'd be eaten by a dinosaur. You were whiny, helpless, you really didn't feel like you belonged. If they took you out, it maybe would have saved like 5-10 minutes of the film, and it would have been a much smoother cut. And another thing was the little girl, I think her name was Maisie. What the hell are you doing in this movie? You served no purpose at all. If anything, you confused the movie further. She was added probably just to cater to the children portion of the audience, but just take her out of the film. Lastly, something happens to her, and when it does, you'll be sitting there completely confused <laughs> wait so they f***ed a dinosaur oh and the very end of the film is like are you f***ing me that's the way it's going down i just i know that there's probably going to be a sequel there's going to be a this is going to be a trilogy but i just hope that they steer more into the horror darker side of things in this follow-up overall jurassic world fallen kingdom is a big old dumb dino flick but that's about it. With some decent action set pieces, some solid visuals, and this almost like horror vibe throughout most of the movie, but with bad pacing, weird subplots, some rough characters, and a what the f ending, I'm right on the line of see this movie or skip it. I mean, if you're gonna see this movie, go into it like a first date low expectations. What did you think of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Was this the dino packed follow-up you were hoping for? Or was this just one big pile of dino dump? I want to hear about it in the comments below. As always, you can find me on the social medias at Jared Buckendall on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Stardust. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>